It doesn't even look like anything beyond lemonade is in there. That's how you trick your family. Taste no sea moss. I taste absolutely no sea moss in there. Does it look like it's sea moss in there? Mmm, nope. that's delicious. That's awesome. Hey guys, it's Kylie Candidator here to inspire you on your health journey. And today we are going to be making some sea moss lemonade. Yeah. So if you have purchased sea moss, you actually are trying to figure out what to do with sea moss. This is a great video for you. I make sea moss lemonade. Everybody in my house loves it, and you will too. So keep watching. For this recipe, you are going to need a couple of simple ingredients. You are going to need a handful of sea moss. You are going to need about five lemons, some honey, and some water. All right, let's dive into this. All right, guys, so if you watch any of my previous sea moss videos, you know how to make this. And if you don't, I will leave a link up here for you to check that out. But here I have my handful of sea moss that I actually have soaking in some mineral water with a lime. Best tasting sea moss you've ever had. Make sure you use lime in your sea moss. And I know I got a couple questions last video about should I clean with mineral water or soak with mineral water? And I think it's really important to soak with mineral water because that's what your sea moss is actually absorbing, right? So if you wanna use your regular sink water just to clean it off really quickly and then use your mineral water to actually soak your sea moss so all that goodness can get up in there so the same process you made to make sea moss gel we're going to make this so the beauty about sea moss and when you do this is that leftover water has so many good factors so we are not going to throw out this leftover water we're actually going to take this leftover water and put it in our lemonade okay so we're going to go ahead and make our sea moss gel we're going to keep this water and we're going to do half sea moss water half sea moss gel and you'll see why in a second okay so I'm just gonna take my sea moss that has been soaking in our mineral water here, and we are gonna blend her up like we always do. I also got a comment about sea moss and doing our research about sea moss. Hey y'all, you already know, if you've been following me, I always say, do your research. I am not here to tell you the God earthly truth. I can only tell you what works for me. And the reason why I believe sea moss is such a great product is I already eat a lot of algae-like products already. And algae has been proven to be extremely helpful for our bodies and I can see a difference. So even though this might be a fad for some, this honestly is a piece of my lifestyle. And a lot of people might be wondering, is sea moss really what it's supposed to be? If you don't want to do sea moss, you can do a lot of different algaes out there. Just saying. Sea moss is not the only thing in the sea that's good for you. So here we go. I have a full thing of sea moss, a little bit of our sea moss water or mineral water that our sea moss is soaking in, and then I'm going to blend this up. Woo. All right, guys, and we have a good consistency for our gel here. I'm probably gonna let this blend a little bit more, but a little bit more water in here. Just a tad. All right, we got a good consistency for our sea moss gel. Well, good enough for me. But now, it'll work. But y'all knew how long it took for me to make my sea moss before, so it takes a little time. You know what? I'm gonna just add a little bit more water. Okay. So here we have our sea moss gel. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a nice little mason jar because I'm not just gonna use this for lemonade. I'm gonna use this for 
my facials, I'm gonna use this for my smoothies, for my tea, all the above. So we're just gonna use a little bit of this for our lemonade today. So now that we have this done, we're gonna go ahead and make our simple syrup. And it was my elderberry tea, did I make elderberry tea or elderberry lemonade? I can't remember, I'll put it up here, but I showed you guys the ratio for making simple syrup with honey. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that same thing on the stove right now so now we have our simple syrup on the stove that's just brewing up just want to check in how y'all doing y'all all right this has been a crazy start to our new year i just knew that we were going to be able to say good riddance to all the shenanigans of 2020 but 2020 brought over some shenanigans with it so hopefully you guys are turning lemons into lemonade in your personal life and not letting this world and everything going on in it stop you from doing the things that you know you should be doing for your life. We made it through 2020 and that was truly a blessing. So hopefully you're taking the time to do what you are called to do because we need you out here thriving. Thrive, please. So we are gonna go ahead and squeeze some fresh lemons in here. using I think it's I took out five lemons but this is where it's called the measurement of love however tart you want your lemonade to be it's completely up to you simple syrup off the stove just to let it get back to room temperature because if you are making lemonade in a glass container we don't need any extremes happening like I've already cracked this one because I'll put in something like room temperature and then I'll put some tea some hot tea in there and that's how y'all break your glasses and how I break mine so don't be like me don't break your glasses <laughs> get it back to room temperature before you actually pour it in here. down there and that sea moss water that I was telling you guys not to get rid of because it's all the goodness we want like that's some good sea moss water y'all I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in here the great thing about fresh lemonade is we are used to things actually being in there like we're used to the pulp of the lemon being in there so a little bit of sea moss gel in there honey we can't tell the difference. And you can add more if you want, but again, this is one of those drinks that everybody in my family enjoys. Nobody even knows that it's extra healthy. So completely up to you. If you want to have truly foggy sea moss lemonade, add some more. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water in there. And we're just gonna give this a good stir. And all I'm doing right now is just making sure my sea moss just breaks down. And the great thing about an acidy drink like this is it helps it break it down. It helps break down the sea moss for us. 
All right. So there you have it. It doesn't even look like anything beyond lemonade is in there. That's how you trick your family. That's how you trick them to drink CMOS. All right, so here is our simple syrup made with honey. I'm just gonna add a little bit. it to make sure it has the right consistency that's good a little tart a little tart taste no sea moss I taste absolutely no sea moss in this really tart add some more sweetness does it look like it's sea moss in there like it either okay taste it again mm, that's delicious that's awesome and then you know for flair we just gonna add in some extra lemons to the top and make it real southern like and there you have it we have some sea moss lemonade that tastes nothing like sea moss being in it all right y'all so there you have it this is some simple sea moss lemonade that tastes nothing like sea moss. So if you are looking for a way to incorporate sea moss into your life, here you have it. Really simple, really delicious. Trick your family, trick yourself, honey. Put a little sea moss in there and here's to being healthy your way. See you next time. Peace. <laughs> Y'all! I forgot to say we are officially 10,000 strong here in the Healthy Family. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much if you have subscribed, if you have commented, if you liked, if you loved, all that good jazz. I'm so appreciative. We are growing, y'all. Thank you so much. Let me know down below if there's any other type of videos you want to see. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.